so here we are at the Winkels in Amsterdam, uh, the one Michelin star restaurant, together with chef uh, Dennis Kuyper. Uh, and we're here to find out his philosophy when it comes to cooking. Dennis, let me ask you first, uh, how would you describe your philosophy when it comes to cooking for somebody that has never been here? What I think is using the most uh, beautiful products, the most fresh products we can buy here. We're near the sea, we are, we're in the middle of Europe, so we can use so many good products. And I think that's the base and that's my philosophy for making dishes. First, I want to have a good piece of fish or good, uh, the best meat we can have, and then we eat it, taste it, and then we find a garnish with it. And that's how we work. Yeah. When you come to creating a dish, how do you start your inspiration? I always start in the middle of the plate and then we, uh, we just think what's, what's best and what, what, what we combine. And some I have a good uh, kitchen chef, uh, chef de cuisine, that's Jürgen. And we just, yeah, we talk to each other about the dish and then what do you think? And I, th I think and then something is creating, growing, the mm -hmm. idea is growing. And when it's there, we're going to taste it and we're going to sit on the table so we can taste it as a guest and then we uh, see if there's a little bit more of crisp or more, more sourness or we skip some ingredients because it doesn't have any influence on the dish just for decoration and I don't believe in decoration it's just everything has to have a flavor and has to yeah, uh, be a stone in the, in, the, in the wall for a successful dish. Uh, so Dennis, tell me, how did it all start? Why did you get interested in food in the first place? My mother always says, uh, since I could talk, I wanted to become a chef. And okay. it never changed. After school, I wanted to go directly to, uh, to, to become a chef. But my mother said, yeah, first you have to have a base, you have to go to high school mm -hmm. and have a good uh, degree. Uh, so I did. But then directly after that I wanted to become a chef and focus on that. And I had a, a, a good path. I started just in a local brasserie, then a little bit better, then a little bit better. And then I wanted to finish, finish my ed education years uh, in a Michelin Star Award restaurant. And I did. I had some luck, but I also had to, to work very hard to invest. And my parents were supporting me. Being uh, a great chef, who love to cook doesn't necessarily mean uh, that you are a good restaurateur. How did your journey look like? Yeah, would, would I started in, a, in family restaurants, I worked in big hotels, uh, I worked for uh, uh, like patrons, so the chefs, owners, and I had to, I see it, seen it all because I wanted to experience it all and then I could see for myself, do I want to see start my own restaurant or uh, or being as a chef in a hotel, looking for an ambition to work with a, great, uh, with a big team, a lot of chefs, but also following my culinary ambitions. Uh, so Dennis, imagine that your culinary ambition would end up in a book. What will be the theme of the book and what will be the title of the book? It's all about a team. We're all a team. And I think I will focus on the guys who are around me because you're not a chef without a team. You know, there's no team without a chef. And I will focus on the products, my suppliers, my loyal suppliers. And I think it's, it's, that's very important and they, didn't, they deserve the attention. So what will, what will be the title then? Yeah, culinary team uh, or uh, yeah, like Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> I really think it's important that it's all about flavor, team, uh, team sports, uh, and it's all about uh, focusing on your job. You cannot do this job uh, as seeing as a job. No, it's a way of life. So obviously, uh, somebody thinks that your teamwork is great. You've got now one Michelin stars since many years. Mm -hmm. uh, where will you go from now? Yeah, we have the ambition for a second Michelin star. Mm -hmm. And for now, the biggest goal is a, full, a fully booked restaurant, happy guests who are returning, giving, uh, uh, saying, spreading the word about us as a restaurant. And I think that's 
that's our goal every day. We're trying every day and we're doing our best. And we, uh, my team says uh, it doesn't matter if we have to work uh, five days a week, six days a week, it doesn't matter. We all have the same goal. Dennis, uh, if you were to give a young person that wants to become a chef an advice, what would that be? First make your choice. Do you really want to become a chef? Do you really want to invest in yourself and learn every day? Take your time to develop.